forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. This is the lattice square block and I'm giving you cutting instructions for the 12 inch and for the 16 inch block. Here's the diagram. We just have half square triangles and squares. Here are four blocks set block to block. So the patch B cutting instructions are for cutting and sewing patches. For using the eight at a time method and two at a time methods for piecing the half square triangles, see page two, and we'll get to that in just a minute. So this part up here is for the 12 inch block, these two, and this is for the 16 inch block. For the 12 inch block, patch A is a one and a half inch finished square. We cut two inch squares. These are the patches we need. We need eight of the background and eight of the dark fabric and four each of the medium fabrics. Here's the AccuQuilt die that will cut these. Patch B is a one and a half inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and three eighth inch squares, cut them in half once on the diagonal for two patches. We'll need 24 patches for the dark blue 12 patches for the light blue and the red, and 32 patches for the background. For the 16 inch block, the sizes are different. We'll have a two inch finished square and a two inch finished half square triangle. And these are the cutting sizes, and these are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this size for the 16 inch block. I'm going to be doing the 12 inch block. Here is page two. We have the alternate methods for cutting and piecing the B patch half square triangle. Here are the fabrics. These two columns are the 12 inch finished block and these two columns are the 16 inch finished block. For eight at a time, for the 12 inch, we'll cut the squares four and three quarter inches. And these are how many squares we need to cut. And for two at a time, we'll cut the squares two and three eighth inches. And these are the number of squares we need to cut because you'll have to use both methods. It's, it's not eight or 16 patches. You have different numbers of patches. That's why you're using the two different methods. And then here are the same thing over here for the 16 inch finished size. And the reason I'm giving you both of these is when I write my patterns, I have the beginner in mind. And I want to make it as easy for the beginner as I can because I want them to see that they can do this. And I know that the Experienced quilters will right away say, oh, I can use another method. I can use my eight at a time. I can use my special ruler. I can use paper piecing. And they'll just run with what they know to make the, the block differently. So that's why I do that. I, I do the easiest thing. It's not usually the fastest thing, but it's the easiest thing for the beginners to understand. Here are all the fabrics I've chosen. The same fabrics for the squares and the half square triangles. I have a white background, a dark blue, a light blue, and a red. And the same fabrics for the half square triangles. So what we're going to do first is piece all these half square triangles. Down here in step one we have five different half square triangles. These are all patch B. This tells you how many to make. So 8, 8, 16, 4, and 4. Whatever method you choose, make this many half square triangles. If you're sewing patches, you just take the colors that go in your half square triangle, flip it over like this, and match all three sides, stitch a quarter of an inch, and then press the seams open. So do that for all of your half square triangle patches. If you're not familiar with the eight at a time or two at a time methods for piecing half square triangles, stay tuned for a short tutorial for both of those. On the back side of the light fabric, we're going to draw a diagonal line, put the fabrics together, right sides together, and we're going to stitch on either side of the diagonal line. Here is the diagonal line drawn and then the stitching on both sides. Now we cut this in half along the diagonal line. Then we have our two half square triangles. Press the seams open and cut off the nubs. 
eight at a time half square triangles. We take our two squares and place them right sides together and put the light fabric on top. We're going to draw two diagonals across this on the light side. Next I'll go to the sewing machine and on either side of this drawn line I'm going to stitch a quarter of an inch. So a quarter of an inch on this side, quarter of an inch on this side. Turn it around and do the same thing over here. Quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. I have stitched on either side of the drawn line and you can't really see on either one of these. So there, there are two lines of stitching going this way and going this way and the drawn line is right in the middle of them. Let's turn it over. What we're going to do next is cut it in half horizontally and vertically first. Then we're going to cut along both of the drawn lines. That will get us our eight half square triangles. I'm using a rotating cutting mat because it, it allows the fabric to stay in place while I move the ruler around, so I just move the, the mat. If you don't have a rotating cutting mat, use the smallest mat you need so you can actually turn the mat and not, not have to pick up the fabric. So we're going to take right down the middle, half. I line up one of the lines down here on the side and then I'm, going, I'm matching it right here at the intersection and cut. Now pick up the ruler without moving the fabric and do the same thing here. Find a line on one, one of the edges to line up your fabric and then put the edge right at the center and cut. So we have four pieces now. Now we're going to do the first diagonal. cut on this strong line as well. Now we pull these apart and we have our eight half square triangles. And then we'll just press these open and we'll have nubs to cut off on each corner. All the half square triangles are pressed then I just take my rotary cutter and trim off these nubs. They're on either side of the diagonal. Now some people prefer to cut their squares bigger than is needed so they can trim down the half square triangle later. I prefer to cut it the right size and just sew the scant quarter inch. So if, you, if it is a little bit bigger, then you can always trim off if you need to. So that's the half square triangles eight at a time. Now the fun part, we have all of the half square triangles done and I've got my prop it board. I'll just look at the diagram and go row by row and lay out the, the blocks in the pattern. Now we got it. It doesn't look too pretty right now, but it's right. It's correct. I found that as I was looking at the diagram, I put a piece of paper down here and just followed the row I was working on row by row. What we have to do now is carefully piece every row. There are eight rows, so we'll piece all of them separately, then press all the seams, and then sew all of the rows together. Before I show you the finished block, I want to give you my video recommendation for today. And this one is called Carol's Trunk Show of 10 Scrappy Quilts. There are 10 quilts there, all made from scraps. 
Five of them, I just describe how to make them because they're self-explanatory, really. They're easy to make. And five of them, I have other videos and tutorials and our free downloads for those. So I hope you check that out and I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.